Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to solve the reading comprehension for UPSC Civil Service Aptitude Test. This section is crucial as it evaluates your ability to grasp information and answer questions based on the given passages. Here is what we will cover in this session. Understanding the importance of reading comprehension, how to choose the correct answer, how to practice, approaches to tackling different types of questions and examples. Importance of reading comprehension. In this table, you can see the number of questions asked by the UPSC from 2013 to 2023. For better understanding, I have given the graph here. In 2013, they have asked 23 questions and then the graph goes like this 26, 30, 27, 30, 26. In 2019, the graph goes down and only 20 questions were asked in that year. Then again, the graph is increasing like 24, 27, 25 and in 2023, they have asked 27 questions. So we can expect questions from reading comprehension anywhere from 20 to 30. Suppose if the UPSC is asking 25 questions and if you give 23 correct answers, you will get 57.5 marks. In CSAT, each question carries 2.5 marks and for each wrong answers, one third of the marks will be reduced from the marks you have got. Just by giving correct answers to 23 reading comprehension questions, you can easily get 57.5 marks. And to qualify in CSAT, you need 66 marks. So almost you are near to 66. That is the reason why I said reading comprehension is so important. How to choose the right answer? Give attention to the keywords like assumption, inference, imply, corollary and corroborate. I have divided our reading comprehension class video into two parts. In this video, we will see assumption, inference and imply. In next video, we will see the remaining two that is corollary and corroborate. You can watch the part 2 video of reading comprehension tomorrow as per our class schedule. With that, we will complete our reading comprehension class. Okay, We're coming back, restrict only to the passage when choosing the right statement. Let me give you an example. Suppose if there is some passage about ozone layer depletion. Okay, In the whole passage, the author will be discussing about how ozone layer depletion is affecting us and what are all the harmful ozone depleting substances. But in the statement, UPSC will give some statements like this. As per Montreal Protocol, we should face out ozone depleting substances and something like that. Okay, In this case, what we will think? The author is also talking about ozone layer depletion substances and this statement is also similar to that and we will choose that. right? After the exam, when we check for the answer, we will find that we have given the wrong answer. Why? Because we have used our knowledge, we have used our external knowledge, what we have gathered from environment. So to avoid this, we should restrict the answers only to the passage. Okay? Avoid extreme words like only, should, never, every, etc. We can also use elimination technique. When reading the passage, underline and read it so that it will be easy for you to find the supporting line and choose the statements. It will save your time in the exam hall. How to practice? Some of us may find difficulty in understanding the passage because of the usage of strong words. So to overcome this, what you should do is read the editorials of the Hindu newspaper. Editorial section will help you in three ways. One, it will help you in solving the reading comprehension. Then it will help you to frame your answers for mains. And then it will help you to update your vocabulary. Previous year question papers play an important role not only in comprehension question but also for other parts of CSAT questions. So download the previous year question papers from UPSC website and solve them one by one. Okay. After every class, I will upload a worksheet, practice worksheet on our telegram channel at Labasna Dreams Official. You can download them and practice the questions. Let us see our first keyword, assumption. What is the meaning of assumption? A thing that is accepted as true or likely to happen without proof. So, author of the passage should not have told that in the passage directly. But after reading the statements, we will think, okay, this must be the assumption of the author and the correct statement will be in support of the passage. Right? 
If we do some examples, you will get a clear idea. Diarrheal deaths among Indian children are mostly due to food and water contamination. Use of contaminated groundwater and unsafe chemicals in agriculture, poor hygiene in storage and handling of food items to food cooked and distributed in unhygienic surroundings. They are myriad factors that need regulation and monitoring. People need to have awareness of adulteration and ways of complaining to the relevant authorities. Surveillance of foodborne diseases involves a number of government agencies and entails good training of inspection staff. Considering the proportion of the urban population that depends on street food for its daily meals, investing in trading and education of street vendors is of great significance. So what do we understand from this passage? Diarrhea caused by contaminated water is the reason for most of the diarrheal deaths of Indian children. Use of contaminated groundwater, unsafe chemicals in agriculture, poor hygiene in food items, handling them in unhygienic manner needs regulation and monitoring. People need to have awareness about adulteration and ways of complaining to about adulteration and unhygienic way of handling foods to the relevant authorities. For surveillance of foodborne diseases needs a number of government agencies and needs good training of inspection staff. Considering the urban population that depends on street food for its daily meals, investing in training and education of street vendors is of great importance. Now let us read the statements. Food safety is a complex issue that calls for multi-pronged solution. Yes, the author is stressing about food safety indirectly in the whole passage. And he indeed tells about solutions like regulation and monitoring, awareness about adulteration to the people and people to complain to the relevant authorities. For surveillance of foodborne diseases needs a number of government agencies and needs good training of inspection staff. Urban population depending on street food. So investing in training and education of street vendors is of great importance. Like this, the author is stressing so many solutions. So we can tell the statement is right. Great investments need to be made in developing the manpower for surveillance and training. Yes, again, this is also in the same passage. For surveillance of foodborne diseases needs a number of government agencies and needs good training of inspection staff. Urban population depending on street foods, so investing in training and education of street vendors is of great importance. So this statement is also right. India needs to make sufficient legislation for governing food processing industry. The author is telling so many solutions for food security but Nowhere he is stressing about legislation and there is no mention about food processing industry. So this statement is incorrect. Now we have 1 and 2. So option A is the right answer. Let's check it. Yes, option A is the right answer. Now I think you can get some idea how we are assuming statements, taking supporting points from the passage and solving the question. This is called assumption, right? We are assuming that author has told many things. So this must be his assumption, right? Let's move to the next question. We will see two examples for every keywords. So I will solve every first question. And after that, when we see the second example, just pause the video, read the passage and just think what could be the right answer. Okay. Let us read this passage in India. The segregation of municipal waste at source is rare. Recycling is mostly with the informal sector. More than three-fourths of the municipal budget goes into collection and transportation, which leaves very little for processing, resource recovery and disposal. Where does waste to energy fit into all this? Ideally, it fits in the chain after segregation between wet waste and rest collection, recycling and before getting to the landfill. Which technology is most appropriate in converting waste to energy depends on what is in the waste that is biodegradable versus non-biodegradable component and its calorific value. The biodegradable component of India's municipal solid waste is a little over 
and biomethanation offers a major solution for processing this. So, what do we understand from this passage? Segregation of municipal waste at source is rare, which means we we people have to do that, right? Whenever we keep the garbage bag outside our house, which will be collected by the municipal workers, we have to divide our garbage like biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Our garbage is our responsibility, right? But we are not doing it. So, segregation process at source, it is becoming rare. More than three-fourths of the municipal budget goes into collection and transportation alone. And very little money is left for processing, resource recovery and disposal. Waste to energy conversion depends upon the process after segregation between wet waste and rest collection, recycling and before getting to the landfill. Also, the energy conversion process depends on what is in the waste and its calorific value. Biodegradable component of India's municipal solid waste is a little over 50% and biomethanation process is a major solution for processing this. So, the author is concluding the passage with a solution for this issue. Now, let us read the statements. Collection processing and segregation of municipal waste should be with government agencies. Nowhere in the statement it is saying that government should do collection, processing and segregation of municipal waste. In fact, in this line, it says three-fourths of the municipal budget goes into collection and transportation, which leaves very little for processing, resource recovery and disposal. So it means Already the municipal system under the government, it is in stressed condition. So this statement is incorrect. Resource recovery and recycling require technological inputs that can be best handled by private sector enterprises. Again, this statement is also not there in the passage. And the last line of the passage says, the biomethanation process offers a major solution for processing this. So, the author did not say anything like it can be best handled by private sector, which means second statement is also incorrect. So, option D, neither one nor two is the right answer. Let us check the answer now. Yes, option D is the right answer. I think now you have understood how to solve assumption type questions. Read the passage and check the statements whether it will be the assumption of the author and choose the statements accordingly okay we will see the next keyword the next keyword is inference what does inference mean a conclusion reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning for this type of question you should read the passage first and then come to a conclusion that this will be the main theme of this passage the author will be discussing about something in the passage and you have to find the main theme of the passage. Okay. Let us see some examples. Read the passage first. Climate change is likely to expose a large number of people to increasing environmental risks forcing them to migrate. The international community is yet to recognize this new category of migrants. There is no consensus on the definition and status of climate refugees owing to the distinct meaning the term refugees may carry under international laws. There are still gaps in understanding how climate change will work as the root cause of migration. Even if there is recognition of climate refugees, who is going to provide protection? More emphasis has been given to international migration due to climate change but there is a need to recognize the migration of such people within the countries also so that their problems can be addressed properly what do we understand from this passage climate change is forcing large number of people to migrate because of increasing environmental risks the international community is yet to recognize this new category of migrants like the definition and the status of climate refugees under international laws. There are still gaps in understanding how climate change will work as the root cause of migration. 
even if there is a recognition of climate refugees who is going to take care of who is going to provide them protection more emphasis has been given to international migration due to climate change but there is a need to recognize the migration of such people within the countries also so that their problems can be addressed properly let us read the statements now so what we have to do choose the main theme of the passage right the world will not be able to cope with large scale migration of climate refugees it is an extreme statement we can avoid such negative statements most of the time such negative statements will be wrong but it depends on the passage and keyword okay so for this passage this option is not correct we must find the ways and means to stop further climate change yes it looks like it is the right answer but this is not the main theme of the passage he is speaking for the climate refugees and migration because of climate change specifically so this option is also incorrect climate change will be the most important reason for the migration of people in the future again this is also an extreme statement and at the same time this statement does not look like the main theme of this passage so this option is also incorrect just by reading the statement we can easily say that it will be the correct answer why the same statement is directly in the passage there are still gaps in understanding how climate change will work as the root cause of migration at the same time the author spoke for the climate refugees and migration because of climate change so we can tell this is the main theme of the passage let us check the answer yeah option d is the right answer as i said earlier pause the video now read the passage now you know what is meaning of inference right you have to find the main theme of the passage so try and find the answer so what do we understand from this passage good corporate governance structures encourage companies to provide accountability and control a fundamental reason why corporate governance has moved on to the economic and political agenda worldwide is because of the rapid growth in international capital markets effective corporate governance is increasing the access to external financing by firms leading to greater investment higher growth and employment investors look to place their funds where the standards of disclosure of timely and accurate financial reporting and of equal treatment to all stakeholders are met just by reading the passage we can tell what is the main theme of this passage right so what is the main theme of this passage the author is directly telling the importance of good corporate governance so this is the main theme got it let us read the statements now it is an important agenda of the countries around the world to ensure access to good external financing this statement is related to this passage but it is a supporting statement it supports the argument of the author in this passage we need to find the main theme of this passage right so this option is not correct good corporate governance improves the credibility of the firms yes here we can easily tell that this is the statement we are looking for the main theme of this passage is exactly here in the statement at the same time the whole passage is talking about this only so we can select this statement as the right answer but let us try other statements also international capital markets ensure that the firms maintain good corporate governance again this statement is also like the statement a it is the supporting statement it provides supporting arguments to the passage that's all so it is not the right answer good corporate governance paves the way for robust supply chains just by seeing this option we cannot come to a conclusion that this statement also has good corporate governance read the full statement is there any mention about robust supply chains in the passage no so this option is not correct we have selected option b as the correct answer so let us check it yeah option b is the correct answer moving on to the third keyword imply so what does it mean 
indicate the truth or existence of something by suggestion rather than explicit reference. Here the author will say about something by suggestion only but not directly. He will not say it directly. Okay. Let us try some example and you will understand how to solve this type of questions. Read this passage with me. In the immediate future, we will see the increasing commodification of many new technologies, artificial intelligence and robotics, 3D manufacturing, custom made biological and pharmaceutical products, lethal autonomous weapons and driverless cars. This will pose conundrums. The moral question of how a driverless car will decide between hitting jaywalker and swerving the, and damaging the car has often been debated. The answer is both simple, save the human life and complex. At which angle should the car swerve, just enough to save the jaywalker or more than enough? If the driverless car is in Dublin, who would take the decision? The Irish government or the car's original code writer in California or a software programmer in Hyderabad? to whom maintenance is outsourced. If different national jurisdictions have different fine print on prioritizing a human life, how will it affect insurance and investment decisions, including the transnational ones? So what do we understand from this passage? In the future, we will see increasing commodification of many new technologies like artificial intelligence, robotics, 3D manufacturing, custom made biological and pharmaceutical products, lethal autonomous weapons and driverless cars. And this will bring conundrums. Conundrums means a confusion. And he is explaining this why. He is raising a moral question. How a driverless car will decide between hitting jaywalker? Jaywalker is nothing but it is a person who crosses the road without giving attention to the approaching traffic or without obeying the traffic rules. And swerving. Swerving means steering. Steering the car. Okay. How it will steer the car? Just enough to save the jaywalker or more than enough? If the driverless car is in Dublin, who would take the decision? The Irish government or the car's original code writer in California or a software programmer in Hyderabad to whom maintenance is outsourced. If different national jurisdictions have different fine print on prioritizing a human life, how will it affect insurance and investment decisions, including transnational ones? Let us read the statements now. What you have to do now, you have to find what the author is coming to tell indirectly. Too much globalization is not in the best interests of any country. It is an extreme statement and there is no mention about globalization in the passage. So this is not the right answer. Modern technologies are increasingly blurring the economic borders. If you read the last few lines, if the driverless car is in Dublin, who would take the decision? The Irish government or the car's original code writer in California? or a software programmer in Hyderabad to whom maintenance is outsourced. If different national jurisdictions have different fine print on prioritizing a human life, how will it affect insurance and investment decisions, including the transnational ones? So this statement is correct because the author is telling this indirectly through such examples or questions. Okay, So let us tick this answer as correct. Innovation and capital have impinged on the domain of the state. Impinged means have a negative effect. Okay. Again, those same lines in the passage. If the driverless car is in Dublin, who would take the decision? The Irish government or the car's original code writer in California or a software program in Hyderabad to whom maintenance is outsourced. If different national jurisdictions have different fine print on prioritizing a human life, how we will affect how sorry how it will affect insurance and investment decisions including transnational ones this statement is the indirect meaning of this passage so this option is also correct public policy of every country should focus on developing its own supply chains 
the author did not tell anything about developing own supply chain so this option is incorrect geopolitics will have to reconcile to many ambiguities and uncertainties the entire passage discusses about ambiguities and uncertainties so this option is also correct now we have statement 2 3 and 5 so option c is the right answer let us check the answer yeah it is the right answer next example read this passage what do we understand from this passage in india over the last decade labor has been departing from agriculture and only going to construction and unregistered manufacturing which are not markedly better jobs services where labor tends to be most productive are not generating the additional jobs the country needs india will need 24 million or so jobs over the next decade the new sector e-commerce can at best close only half the jobs gap only those sectors that drive domestic demand such as health and education can comfortably fill the other half let us read the statements now strong measures need to be taken to reduce the rural to urban migration of labor nowhere it is mentioned about rural to urban migration so this option is incorrect the working condition in construction and unregistered manufacturing needs to be improved but the author is telling that construction and unregistered manufacturing which are not mortally better jobs so we cannot say that this is what the author is coming to tell indirectly therefore this option is also incorrect service sector has been reducing the problem of unemployment it is against the passage because you know because in the passage it is like this services where labor tends to be most productive are not generating the additional jobs the country needs so this statement is also incorrect increased social sector spending is imperative for large scale job creation if you read the last line of the passage only those sectors that drive domestic demand such as health and education see health and education or social sector so they can comfortably fill the other half yeah this is the right answer option d is the right answer let us check the answer now yes we are right with this we are concluding our today's class we will see the remaining two keywords tomorrow before we go i want to hear from you if you have any questions or doubts please don't hesitate to leave your comments down below and one more thing make sure to download the practice worksheet from our telegram channel at labasna dreams official if you come across any doubts while working on the worksheet no worries we will address them i truly appreciate your participation and dedication to learning please consider subscribing to stay updated on all our future lessons thank you for joining